What is up everyone? This is Captain Neon speaking. And I'm doing so in the hopes that this great body of Christ that I get to belong to will be truly edified. No surprise, but God revealed himself to me in a very profound way yesterday. I'm still rejoicing in it. I was listening to a YouTube video of one of our older brothers, an elder priest, and you'll see how that ties in. Up somewhere in, I believe, middle to north Florida. And to be honest with you, I really don't remember the main theme or topic of his share. But what really stood out to me was he quoted a familiar portion of scripture. And it was in John 21 verses 15 to 17. When the Lord had risen and met with the disciples after they had gone fishing. And sat them down at the beach and asked him the question three times. Do you love me more than these? And I think we all know the rest of the story. But when he mentioned this, God like revealed something to me. And it was in the question when he said, do you love me more than these? And I've thought different things over the years about what that means. But in this moment, in that moment, to this moment, I got the impression that he was asking him compared to the disciple, to the other disciples. You know, his big three, I believe. Unless there were more. Because usually he had his 12 disciples. He had all his believers, all the followers, all the believers, the followers. And then he had his 12. And then out of the 12, there was the three. And the idea was that he was like, do you love me more than these? Again, going back to the reverse of when the disciples amongst themselves were saying, you know, Who's his favorite kind of thing? Who's the greatest sort of thing? And I think he was touching on this again, saying, hey, if you love me more than these, then you'll feed them. And again, God is so wonderful in how I, he, he dealt with, he helped him understand first because he fed their body first. As they were feasting, and satisfying their their flesh he used this to introduce this idea this concept on the higher plane and so that really that really you know got down deep into the fibers of my being and of course as God always so graciously does, he was prepping me for today's treat. Chapter 15, verses 3 to 7, when he's, God starts talking about the lack of a teaching priest. Referring to, you know, this is this is what is this is why my people have fallen into error. This is why things are just such a mess. There's no one there to teach from the priesthood. And then verse 7 is the encouragement after all this saying, you know, it's not an easy task. You ever try to feed a, a baby that, that doesn't want to eat? But he says, your work shall be rewarded. So today's 
message from God, coupled with yesterday's revelation, leads me to the topic of this main idea, the reward of a teaching priest. Now this reward for me is just abundant with God and it's just over and over in, in every way. So I was rewarded, the reward to be given a teaching priest. And this teaching priest came from, as I mentioned, my older brother yesterday, who's been, you know, feasting himself. And again, God spoke through him to me. I think, and it was just really like a side note, I believe, that he used the scripture. But that's exactly what God wanted me to, the, what God used through him to really bring me to this place. And then it is not only to have a teaching priest, but to be able to, because God says, I give to you so that you can give. And then to do, to do the work that is so rewarding. Now, using this term, you know, priest, I believe that we have been called, we are the royal priesthood, called to follow the Lord in kingship and priesthood. So, It goes back again. Do you love me more? How are you going to prove your love? Yes, follow my commandments, but I command you to first eat of me. I first sat you down and gave you food to eat. And I taught you how to eat. Now feed others of yourself. It's nothing that you have, but what I gave to you, myself, my flesh, my word, the daily bread, give to others. For feeding, for truly, I'm sorry, isn't the main job of feeding, teaching one exactly how to eat, Captain this. The true reward of a teaching priest is learning how to properly feast on daily bread.